What's up, everybody, and welcome to the official PlayStation podcast of the KT Data Network. We are The, the Little, Little Big, Big cast. cast. On today's show, Robin Top taps in special guest Glenn. Oh, welcome, That's Glenn. him. That's right. Rachel has birthdays. We wow. A whole bunch of them. 22. Holy yeah. God. yeah. <laughs> Drew jacks up the podcast. No, no, no. I fixed it, and you will never know. You'll never know, but he did jack it up. No, and fixed. Jeff attempts to save a 14-year marriage anniversary. Doesn't doesn't really need saving, but he tries. He tries. He tries. Good All this and more, ladies and gentlemen, on episode fifty six of the Little Big Cast. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Little Big Cast. This is episode fifty six. Wow. Of the little big cast. Yeah. And I am one of four hosts today. My name is Jeff Hawks. Hey, Jeff Hawks. And hey. with me, as always, uh, the ever optimistic Mr. Drew Tyler. Cheers. Mr. Yeah. Sunshine himself. Mr. Sunshine. <laughs> everywhere he goes, like, he just exudes optimism everywhere. You yeah. can't help but be picked up by this guy. I love I don't it. Know, I don't even know when that happened. Uh, our own Miss Rachel Hernandez. Hello, that Hello. is I. Oh, yes, hey. She's here with us today. And then we have we have a sub. We have a... Hey. That's right. We tapped we tapped Robin out for the day. She is headed down somewhere south. Uh, what, Phoenix? Uh, New Mexico somewhere. New Mexico. So she's, she's like from down there, she's right? She's going into focus on dissertation mode. I wonder if we'll oh. get her back in a week or two. I think we will, just because she'll need a break. But She's, she's going down there in, like, playing Final down. Fantasy VII and writing, <laughs> is, what, is what that means. She's going down and back in like two days. Like, but she's coming back to write. Oh, okay, cool. So, subbing in for Robin, our own chef extraordinaire. Oh, yeah. Hi. I'm Glenn. This is Glenn. <laughs> and he's, uh, I'm, I'm pumped to have you here, man. Uh, as part of this week's episode, first of all, we've got to say uh, happy birthday. Wow. First of all. Hey. Newly meant to Hi. Rachel. That is me. The Hi. official double twos, right? Wow. Yeah. 22. Wow. And to celebrate so Glenn being the chef that he is, went to Smith's <laughs> and purchased a cake. Oh, yeah. It's a hamburger cake, including... <laughs> Some kind of <laughs> giant fries. fries. Some kind of oh, cake fries. What kind of fries? Angel food cake fries? I hope the whole... I think it is. Is it frosting sauce. that we dip it in or actual... Ch that is... Uh, if it's, I believe uh, that's actual fry sauce. Actual fry <laughs> sauce. Delicious. And on the cake is ketchup, mm -hmm. which sounds delish. Well, let's get yeah. through this show. Delish. So we can let's do this. <laughs> so, if you're watching at home and uh, want to help us celebrate Rachel's birthday, yes. feel free to go buy a cake and eat it today. Yes. Yeah. And we'll just call it... Yeah. Or any type of delicious yeah. treat. Celebrating a quirky cake. cake. Yes, a yeah, or a absolutely. quirky cake. Anyway, uh, we, we typically kick off the show with uh, kind of a wrap-up of what we've been doing over the last couple of days. And, um, well, actually, I guess since the last show, right? Yep. So, since the last show, Drew. Why, actually, you know what? We have a guest. Guest should go first. All right. Mr. Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> when you kick it off for us, dude, tell us what's going on. Well, last week was this has been a pretty fun week for me. On Saturday, we went to this Viking rock concert. Robin and I. <laughs> <laughs> called, it was a band called Amaranth, and it featured a real Viking, Robin's new Irish love. Let's see if we can pull it up here. <laughs> a super cheesy Euro lady. I mean, she was like with the. She's always doing the heart thing. <laughs> okay. <sighs> and then Viking Lego loss. Oh, really? I don't know if you could see him. He's the guitarist. He was actually oh, really good. Uh, there's Viking Legolas. <laughs> wait, wait, wait over here. On the all the way to the left. There he is. Yeah, right. Viking Legolas. What does it take for someone to have the nickname be Viking Legolas? The long, I can just see uh, the just the long hair. Just the long hair. Yeah. Long hair and uh, like David Bowie. strangely well, beautiful they're from, for a man. Parts of all, they're from Sweden, so they're all Viking types. Yeah. Did you guys ever watch the? Music, uh, not my did you guys not ever watch the old YouTube channel, Ask a Ninja? <laughs> no. Was that a thing you guys ever saw? No, never did. It was pretty yes. funny. So Ask a Ninja did an episode a where he reviewed Pirates of the Caribbean, uh -huh. and he was talking about all the different characters, and you know he goes into how Pirates of the Caribbean really had no plot; it was just shots of just big scenes, and then you just continue piece by piece. Mm -hmm. But he started breaking down the different characters, and he got to Orlando Bloom. And he kind of talked like Ron Burgundy, and he's like, and Orlando Bloom, if you don't know who Orlando Bloom is, he's a slightly more mannish version than Kira Knightley. <laughs> That's terrible. Appropriate. And uh, that, you know, That's he's a he's a pretty damn pretty dude. Like, pretty as, dude. Far as, pretty uh, as far as men go, he's a very, like, f feminine. I don't know. Every time I hear Jeff Legolas, I'm like, that's a. I don't know that you call. He's, he's like too feminine for me. If you're gonna talk about a man crush, right? Like <laughs> Hugh Jackman, I think, is a man crush. That's like a 
kind of a it's man a crush. hairy beast. I don't know. You know Almost what I'm like a Wolverine. Yeah. Almost Ironic. like a Wolverine. Weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, go ahead, Glenn. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> also, despite terrible hotel internet, I leveled up to 15 on Witcher 3 and made it to Skellige earlier today. Wow. wow. Which is what do you crazy. What you your day all day? You play? Well, I worked other days. Oh, right, right. But today I didn't. You said level 13 or 15? 15. 15. 15. That's crazy. Which is I'm actually like 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm barely on 7. Yeah. So, so can you tell me a little So I'm on, you're 7, I'm at 6. Okay. So talk a little bit about the the level progression that you've experienced because for me right now at level it's 6, super I still slow, feel right? like super feel, weak. So I found out that you level faster if you do the secondary quest as opposed to just fighting random dude, dudes. Oh, you actually chase. So, so if you chase so pursuing the... pursuing the main storylines then? Main storylines and secondary quests. Okay. okay. Yeah, so. Jeff. Okay. So, I'll, I'll so, so I'm a fan to just have, jump off a horse and go yeah, like kill a you. bunch of like but creepers right, you know, and stuff, but but you don't level as fast because it's almost like badass tokens from Borderlands. You know, you just have to get so many and then it gives right. you some points. Okay. okay. From what I figured out. How but, have your How have your skills changed since then? Like, so I I I've, like using the Igni. Right, yeah. the fire one. That's my favorite. Oh, I don't know. Like I've, I've learned to one. adjust spells for each person because if you look on your bestiary, it shows different. When's the weaknesses. last time you got your bestiary on? Uh, since the you should probably watch next lane. time he does that. Oh, the box. Yeah. Yeah. So, but when you're doing like, I know that you can upgrade your different magical powers, right? Mm -hmm. So does the, I mean, does it become more? Can you tell that Igni is more powerful today than it was when you were level five? Yeah. Uh, well, because I've been spending all my points on my fast attack. Okay. Which is seems dodge like and fast melee. attack seems to work the best. Okay. But like fighting race, which are a pain in the butt. Yes. Right. Yes. So if you use the magic trap, it takes away all their. Oh all really? Their things. So then you can just hit them like a normal person. They're not low. So has that, with So you've leveled up the trap then, as far as your. Magic yeah, stuff I leveled goes, up the trap the twice, one. and I've leveled up Igni three times, and the rest has been all like fast attack. So the, attack. the ones that you have mm -hmm. leveled up, then can you tell that they're more powerful? Yeah. Do, does it does the animation change? Like, does it become more. visibly really. more impressive? Uh, not so far. Okay. I don't know. I that's a little disappointing. I'm only so. like, I mean, 15. Only which, 15. But I don't know how high it goes. Like, wow, but how? Yeah, I don't know what the level. But is. there's but Skyrim, I have some quests right, right now that I can't yeah. do till 33. So. Oh. Huh. Wow. Oh. So with so. Skyrim, though, I mean, as you upgrade like a certain magic, yeah, feat, it looks better. Your, your yeah. stuff looks yeah. more impressive and cooler. Yeah. And I I hope that that's what you get. Maybe the magic sure. trap I know grows bigger, and then the fi the igni um, grows more intense and burns more people. Hmm. Right. So, yeah. but as far as flashy magic, I don't know. I also saw that you spent some time in Borderlands. Borderlands. Yeah. I did a lot with Rachel and Robin online, and then last night Drew, we Rachel, and I well. started characters that from zero on Borderlands. How far did you guys get? One we after thought we were done. We, yeah, cool. we're, we're like, like we're, we wanted, we we'll want to take this, up. we want to take this journey with Together. Rachel. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Together. <laughs> and that was it. That was my week, and I worked. No, I didn't go anywhere <laughs> exotic. Very cool. Detroit. <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> Drew. Uh, I had a nice, simple week. Basically, uh, it was my 14th anniversary. Nice. Yes. Congratulations. I should have a damn 14 cake 14 years, that. man. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's awesome. Um, a lemon cake. Wrote each other cheesy love notes, and uh, and then I believe... In front of each other, or like separately, and then gave them to no, each yeah, other? No, yeah, we kind of like hid in the corners. And, just right. like, and it's the same as like the note where I'm like, <laughs> I gotta grab some milk after work today. And then <laughs> it's I'll see on the you same. Right? It's totally the same. It's on the same. You're the best. Uh, love your soul. <laughs> note paper that <laughs> yep. you write your grocery yep. list. Yep. It's, it's true love after 14 years. It's nice. Uh, but that's no, it's how fun. you know it's real. Yep. We got to go on a little date, and then we went and... Um, we did that, uh, even on that anniversary night. It was like, hey, you're busy doing homework, and I've got a plan. So we jumped on Destiny and played for like. A, we, I went on a raid for my anniversary. I raided Destiny. I was a little concerned, like, I know you were like, did you forget, man? Because I can help you. Yeah. So what happened was, Drew uh, messaged me and was like, hey, I want to join the raid if there's if there's room, and there was, and we were super pumped to have yeah, him join. Run, yeah. And then his wife posted a thing on Facebook that was like 14 years, and I was like, oh my gosh, Drew <laughs> Does forgot. Drew, know? Drew forgot it's his anniversary. So uh, yeah, I was. I was no, trying no, to like no. make last minute Dude, I made it save all, the day yeah. plans. No, but. no, I made it all up to her. I had a, I had a plan where uh, she had mentioned last week that she'd love to have an indoor lemon tree. And I was like, I will find you an indoor lemon tree. Nice. So that is, that is what we did for the anniversary. <laughs> did you look again. in the back of Boy's Life? <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did not. But that went well. My little or my biggest bean has pneumonia, which is oh. kind of weird. Ooh. But she's just just sadder than usual. But she's not 
like laid up. She's still like looking for excuses to watch you know video games. And stuff, so <laughs> not like it really affected her that much. But hey, that was it. That was my week. Good times. Very cool. Very cool. cool. Right on. Rachel, do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? Uh, I will go. Okay. So I have had an eventful week. I guess you could say so. <laughs> um, I've been on this job market search, which has not been very fun. And I think it's slowly depressing me. Part of your seven month plan, right? We yeah. Don't get, don't get depressed. Figure it okay. out. So um, I'm on that journey right now. Uh, I went to. I also went to a concert, but it was not with Glenn and Robin. Uh, oh. Went to a band called Glass Animals. That was pretty great. That was fun. Sold out show. Wait, what kind of music is Glass Animal? Mm, is that, is electro it? indie. Oh, oh. That's the best way. Okay. I compare them to Alt J. Oh, okay. Okay. So kind of like okay. that type of, but more. Would you mellow. agree with that, Leon? All right. Okay. So yes, uh, Leon, okay. Leon, Leon was with me. Yes. Yeah, awesome. he was there, and that was a good time. Um, did that. I turned 22. Yay! Yay. Yes, big day. 22. Yeah. So birthdays and stuff. As far as video games go, I've been playing some Borderlands. I played with Robin. Robin and I streamed. And, yeah, and had a wonderful stream. Yeah, we had, had we really hit. I think I think we hit fifteen. Yeah. I think we hit fifteen. That was our first time. So that was awesome. We were playing the pre-sequel. Did she you was have, like. Two chicks play games somewhere yeah. in the title. Like, it was, what was, what was, was it? It was <laughs> something like What was it? It was uh, two girls in Borderlands. Two girls in some B land, I yeah. think is what it was. Two girls, <laughs> one beat meat bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> that is not the right video, sir. <laughs> that, two girls, one stream, I think is what we wanted to go with. So that's uh, so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what we've been playing. Yeah, she was she's been the doppelganger and I've been the law bringer. So that was fun. We had some had some foreigners join in, hop in, in our hop in our game. He was a level seventy though, and we were like like 15, 16. That kind of kills it, I wow. think. Wow. You know, yeah. I thought it would kill it, but it actually wasn't too bad because... Uh, he behaved himself. He behaved... Yeah, he was and fine. he just saved you. And pretty much... He saved me, and we just got experience like it was no other because he would just <laughs> take care of a lot of it, and there was still enough to do where it wasn't. Huh. Nice. Yeah, so it was. It worked out for the better. Um, so cool. we did that for a little bit. Uh, then I played Borderlands 2 with you guys. Yes. Which that we, was fun. We invited another stranger to play with us, and I, I don't it know if it was just because he was well. young, but Ooh. it didn't. It didn't. It, it wasn't. Was interesting. It wasn't as fun. It was, it was the beeping. It was the beeping. Yeah, I feel like. Really but it was young, right? Yeah. yeah. I feel like streaming with someone young is kind of a buzzkill. It's, it's it, it sounds it. it sounds messed up, but like. And I, don't, I, don't I streamed Monday, and I I love the kid that I streamed with. He's right. a great little oh, yeah. dude, but yeah. man, it it made it made it communicating me, with the stream difficult. It reminded me of my Xbox days, where like everyone's 12 so i think that's right. kind of what it reminded me of it's a, little, a little bit yeah that's a good point like it kind of feels like it just feels weird in a streaming environment i, I, I thought think. to myself right. like the next time we go streaming games that if somebody asks hey can i join you i want to say well how old are you first <laughs> But then I figured, most Where people ask how old are you? Join. Are you a racist? <laughs> like, what are the other? We need we need other certain things to like. Yeah. yeah, we need certain if things to make sure we know exactly where they are. <laughs> no, it was good. It was good. So uh, Borderlands, I've been doing some Witcher. Kill kill the Griffin. For the, killed my first Griffin, and, and I was torn up about it. Griffin's always been like a noble creature in the fantasy world, and they're pretty and they're he epic. And apart. I killed it. Yeah, but they killed his wife. She uh, has a very good. Babies. She has a very good argument. That's right? That's That's the true. people attacked them. And I, did you I ever have that. An option? and then I cut off his head. Did yeah. you ever have an option in game to not kill him? Because like I remember having the conversation with the Baron dude, right? Mm -hmm. He was like, "You need to go kill this thing for me, and then I'll give you more information." I don't recall if it gave you an option to say no. Because mm. I, I thought the same thing. Like as I was investigating everything, I'm like, "Oh, there's a nest. Looks like they snuck up on her and, and just killed her. Like there was no sign of a struggle." And so I kind of felt the same way. But I, then I saw it, and I was like. This will be fun to kill. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. Yeah, and you had you you're like, "Yep, I can do this." I'm gonna do this. Yes. Yeah, so what that means cool. that you keep the Griffin head on the side of your horse for like the next right. three days or something. I've got like, like four heads in my bag. You're sick. <laughs> 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 do they? Sick. I still out. have the. They switch out. So oh I really? Kill the shrieker and I'm not yeah, and then the you can you can put them in and they each have different buffs. Yeah. What? Yeah. How yeah. do you change them? Well, just, just go into your inventory. You, sli what? you can slide them down and put yeah. it in a different slot. I yeah. had no idea. I was excited when I switched yeah. off the shrieker. I was like, finally, I know what to do mm. with the Griffin because I thought a guy forgot to take it from me. That's or what I thought. Right? I've it's been like thinking trophy. that every so single day. Yeah. As we speak nope, of. it's not true. Yeah, a lot of money from him. A lot of the quest items you get, you just hold on to. Just carry him. You know, people don't take them from you. And then you're like, well, what do I do with well, this now? now? It weighs point zero zero one, <laughs> and I'm at 58 out of 60 pounds. Yeah, I'm back to like that <laughs> horrible grind of trying to figure out how to balance like the weight I'm carrying. Stuff. Right. Uh -huh. But so if so, uh, the Witcher. That. There's a couple things I learned this week. The Witcher. First of all, you have those 16 pieces of free DLC, right? 
Mm. So the first piece of the free DLC came with upgrades for both your character's armor set, your facial hair, and then gear for your horse. <laughs> All and the gear for your horse Wait, allows you to carry out? more. Yeah, yeah it's out. Oh. So carry? they should be downloading automatically. If they're not, go to the PlayStation Network, go to add-ons, and go to Witcher. Um, there's two of them now that have come out. Two of the 16 have come out. And just the first right one now. has... Yeah. Yeah, cue it up right now. Nobody <laughs> do it. But the first one has um, stuff that has you. blinders for your horse, so he won't spook as easily. Yeah, yeah. Um, it has a new saddle for your horse so that you have increased stamina. And then it also has... Um, Saddlebags, so that you can carry more carry weight. More Sweet. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. That's cool. And then I also learned, if you're interested, you can you can Google this. I'm not going to get into it, but there's, te- I mean, it's not a glitch. It's just an exploit within the game to get more money. There's uh, a dude who sells clams. Shell. Yeah, you can buy clams from this guy. You can go to another dude, and for one dollar, he'll deconstruct them, and you'll yeah. get pearls out of every single uh, one of them. Yeah. Oh. And then you wait for like three days, sell them all back to the dude for like. Two or three hundred a pop, and then just go buy more shells, mm-hmm. the clams nice. or whatever. Super cheap. It's it's a, real kind of a dumb exploit, but yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Too. Money, money, money. Yeah. Even diving down in and grab all the clams. Absolutely. Just, not all of them have. I, that's cool. What a week. Cool. Yeah. No, it's. I've been dancing from uh, Borderlands and Witcher, and they're just such different worlds. It's kind of hard to. Because well, Borderlands I was, is a nice break. Right. I was goofing off in Witcher, and I was just riding around on my horse, and a ghost popped out of nowhere and freaked me out. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> was not expecting a ghoul. I haven't seen a ghoul in the game in I don't know how long. So what but do you think? I mean, you've, you're what, level five, six, five, like four? Three, three or four. Okay, what are, yeah. you, what are your thoughts? Uh, it's a lot. On? It's a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking in the game, and Robin's right. The text is really small, so I don't. I hate spending time reading about the DLC, everything. I, th- I feel like the, the patch for that there's has another, already gone. I, I there was one more patch. Didn't like, help me. Coming. Was quick. I thought there was one more that was going to address that. Like, in the new It's either out or it's coming out soon. So I, I just because I, I looked into my menu to see head. if I could make it bigger, but I couldn't find anything yet. So if chat, if you guys know anything, um, any help. way to fix that, help, let us know. Help. Yeah, so that's been fun, but uh, which it's okay. It's just uh, doses, small doses. I don't, I can't, I can't sit and play. I can't binge yeah, play it. Really? It just see, and I, I feel like it brain. needs. To, I feel like that's my problem is I haven't had the time to binge that's play. Right, it. I, mm-hmm. I feel like mm-hmm. I feel like The Witcher needs to be like set aside four to six hours yeah. to just so I'll be jump wide in to a and really get into See, it. I, paid, uh, yeah, I could no. go another couple of hours, but I'm a responsible adult. I'm right. Going to bed. No, what I played it saying? for two hours last night, and I was like, I'm going to bed. And then I hopped back <laughs> on <laughs> so, and played something else. So, yeah. Right on. Cool. So I... I'm just going to skip over the fact that I've been playing Destiny. So I'm just going to so say that's a given. it. That's a <laughs> we did. Chat, hang you know. on. I do need to mention <laughs> this. So we, so we ran through uh, with Breakdance Fight. Yeah, that was cool. PSN ID Breakdance Fight. He was yep. awesome. Yep. He, uh, he helped us through the Vault of Glass. We didn't make it past Atheon. There's something about the bosses in these raid fights that, like, either everything goes really smoothly and right. it's done in three minutes or it is like you smashing is, your though? face against a brick wall. I think it's when I play with you because I've only no, had smashing brick walls it's, experience. It's playing with, I, th- I think what it comes down to is you have to have enough people that are comfortable with the key elements of the raid right. and when it's for three it to and go. Three, and so and in this one, yeah. yep. I think Render and I were the only people that were comfortable with the relic. And so yep. if one of the two of us didn't teleport, it, it just fell right. apart, yeah. and so. And then more pizza came in for that very last. Yeah, show. and just and he was the he yep. was the one that went through, and so it yep. it, it made it. So that was fun though. Uh, break dance all the way It was super fun. It was good. He was great to play with. Yeah. Um, and again, if anybody in the chat or anybody watching wants to be joining, um, a lot of people that that watch and that are actually in the chat right now. So Jason plays stuff. That's Methane Cuddles. He's plays he plays with me all the time. If you would like to be playing, uh, send me a message on PSN. And Mondays, I stream with viewers. And uh, if we play enough and you're cool, we'll just play whenever I'm on. Yeah. That, yeah. that works. You um, outside, of Dan- outside of Destiny, um, I was actually, I had never thought of or really given, really given any kind of consideration to race the sun until right. I That's watched amazing. Cambria play it. Oh, really? Yeah, that made so me So I watched Cambria it. stream it, and I was yeah. like, that actually does look kind of that's like it's the kind nice of mindless that's the kind of like time wasting uh-huh. game that I can get behind um and so I, I picked it up and started playing and it is actually really fun did you guys have you have you played, played it quite a bit. nope so have you played it to the point where you can upgrade your ship uh-huh that's awesome. So yeah, different. You can get up to two jumps at a time. You can get different mag. So right now I can only magnet. jump once, but I have the magnet, and so I'm pulling getting more things stuff. closer to me. And then I keep. I've gotten stuck now because it's like one of those games where you have a couple of like upgrade, like do these little 
Yeah. Like, called, like little missions or whatever. Mm -hmm. And now I'm on one where it's like, do 25 barrel rolls in one game. And I'm like, I can't stay alive long enough <laughs> to do these barrel rolls. How many, how many uh, sections get, have you cleared? I can get two. Like, See, I clear one well. and I clear two. And then I just, it's just I've done hard. two as well. Once you get into like the all the crazy triangle <laughs> ones with the windmills right behind it and it's it just gets or the the hardest one is the blocks that roll have the, yeah that, is, that, that one's hard. really tough have you been into the space one where you hit one of the portals oh no there's a there's a place i don't know if i earned it or not what but there's a little portal to pop up and so as you're racing through if you see this little portal you can zip into it nice. and it puts you into like almost an asteroid style like place where you can you shoot the asteroids. Shoot, yeah. Bidi, you, know, bidi, you, like, bidi. you still are on the ground, but you can't see the ground. It's super rad. I really, really like it. I'll have to put more time into it. Very cool. Um, outside of that, more Witcher with my wife, as I mentioned last week. Um, Claire, my wife, is like she likes hanging out and watching cool. The Witcher, which is sweet. I, I wonder if if Peach didn't have so much homework for her master stuff, if she would like it. Because it's an awesome she, world. She loved the uh, Lara Croft one that was really like dark oh, Tomb Raider, and scary. Yeah. Tomb Raider. Like, she loved that and she wanted to know about the story, which surprised me. So I wonder if she wasn't like so in her was books. She, did, you, did you try to get her to watch Uncharted at all? It was Because that was another thing for Claire. Started, so. For Claire, Uncharted was like the king. No, no, she no. would call me at work and be like, when are you coming home? I want to know what happens next. And that was... Did you say just start playing fun. your own game? No. <laughs> I don't want to compete with the, for the console. Are you kidding Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's, uh, I'm not rich enough to buy two. Um, I haven't played Witcher yet, so not sure which text... He's saying if you hit the PS button and square, it zooms? What? For like the text? The time? Cool. Like text. I'll have to check that out. We'll check it out, Methane. Thank Otherwise, you. Otherwise, I was going to buy binoculars because sometimes it gets so small. Binox. <laughs> My TV is so far away. It's like... Right, I'm just sitting right it's, in front. Yeah. But as for, uh, as for the rest of the people, I, I put out on the chat, you know, asked uh, what they've been doing. Got a couple of people. Laserbox watched Mad Max this week, I'll which we all watched in an empty theater. It's <laughs> awesome. cool, man. A little bit that. creepy. I would go again. I almost went yesterday, but again, no. Okay. Yeah, I saw it twice in theaters and I loved it. And then Methane watched uh, Tomorrowland and said it was a good movie. Said it was fun. I can't see that. So, um, yeah, that's what's happening in the lives of the listeners. If you ever want to be kind of part of this section of the of the uh, the podcast, join us, join us on Twitch. If you're listening to this, feel free to join us on Twitch at twitch.tv uh, slash littlebigcast, and you can kind of just talk to us as we go through, and you'll be incorporated into the yeah. show. But, ladies and gentlemen, that kind of wraps up our week, unless something secretive that no, we you were waiting all. to reveal is... We got it all. All, all right. Well. Then let's kick it over to Drew okay. for the news. <laughs> I heard it at the Hi. last second. <laughs> There's lots of news going on today. We've got uh, all kinds of things, such as the first one that I think that most people are excited about and really want to hear about was announced today, right? Officially. I mean, officially, right? There were some rumors leading up to it. We had talked a little bit about it, but Fallout 4 was officially confirmed for the PC, the Xbox One, and PS4. So there, that was kind of a fun... The that whole, was awesome. Please stand by. They had like 2,500 the people on their the Twitch just watching the stand by it, like right? a day before. Anyway, so there were some people that were like worried that it was going to be a, well, this is going to be a Fallout a remake, 3 remake, or a remaster, but how exciting. Fallout 4, a lot of people are excited to see that. The trailer blew me away. That yeah. just looks cool. I love the way that they did like this past and present. Like, Yeah, I'm curious to see what, it. I'm curious to see what ends up happening. Like if it's got like elements of kind of a prequel to it, you know, like oh, to like before the be nukes went off. Mm. I wonder if it kind of takes yeah, you through, like history. the uh, the impression I got from the trailer was that it's going to take you from pre Fallout into the Fallout, which I think would be cool mm. because the other ones all start in a vault. Like you all, you you're all you're. I mean, right? Three right. in New Vegas, you wake up in a vault and you're like, uh, what's going on? And you kind of learn the history of what uh, has happened. Uh, but the trailer kind of implies that that. At, I mean, there were like the trailer kind of implies that you're there, right? So it's like, I was watching the trailer and someone had asked me if it was going to be a prequel. And my answer to that was, I don't, I don't think, they call think it so. But I wonder, I wonder if it's going to be like, I don't know, hot and you, cold type thing. It's like, maybe you flashbacks. can alternate. Maybe if there's like goggles you find that you can put on. Maybe, or flashbacks. Or maybe the way like Witcher's See, going, like you run not Or maybe it's flashbacks. completely irrelevant it and it's just to create conversations like this. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe it's just yeah. somebody's yeah. idea of a great trailer. Right. Right. We'll know. I'm interested to know when do you guys think it'll drop. 
Because this, so, this is like pre-E3. Like, here's the trailer, everybody. When do you think they'll tell us and then postpone the date? I'm going to jump into, <laughs> I'm gonna jump into our dates. Facebook. <laughs> two dates. January yeah. There's always two dates. Yeah, because I think, who was, it, was, was, it was uh, Breakdance Fight? Was, had, yeah, Breakdance Fight. Stacy was having, had, had chat, some ideas. I'm thinking that it's probably it's just normal. It's going to be a year out. Like, hey, here, here it's coming. Stay in a year. So I don't my, know how long they've been working on it, too. Initially, uh, what Breakdance Fight was saying was that um, he expected it would launch this fall. And... Man, that's soon. I, I was like, yeah, I, th I felt like that was a little bit optimistic. And I said, I kind of expected it probably fall of 2016. And that I hoped he was right, and I do. Like, that would be sure, awesome sure. if it was this fall. Um, but he looked it up, and actually what happened with Fallout 3, they announced it at E3, and then um, it launched the same month as the announcement the next year. Oh. So it was literally like a and year from remember. the announcement. Hmm. Which would be sooner than fall of next year so sure, i'm sure. fine with that like this fall next spring sure. i'm cool with sure. whatever yeah absolutely i think it's really exciting though and i'm really really looking forward to it i thought it was you know i can't think of a game that would have as many people watching a screen that says standby oh, uh, as yeah. a bethesda yeah. game oh, right. people have wanted People have wanted this for a very, very long time. Can we so. talk about the dog too? I think the dog's going to cause an emotional roller coaster because that's what animals do. Anytime there's a dog in a game, that's how it feels, right? No, and I, just, I think I think that's what they did. They like, they added it onto it, so it's, that's going to be like that's going to be the differences between Fallout Three and New Vegas because now there's a dog. Now there's a dog, and now you have a friend to take care of, now and there's like the Hearts. emotional there roller go, coaster. Man. I Hearts know. Was rough with that dog. <sighs> Was stuck in the barbed wire. That was a hard one. That was a hard I one. I was like, damn, get that dog out of there. <laughs> save it, no. save it. All right, moving on to news number two. I'll throw this one over here. This is Miyazaki's Dark Souls 3 ready for an E3 announcement. This is a rumor, right? So we're kind rumor. of hoping. But these guys so what we're going to find as we get closer to E3, oh, and we're close. everything is going to be rumors. Like, we're we're in kind of hype train mode right now for yeah. E3, and so a lot of people are saying a whole lot of stuff to get people excited. And... It could pan out. It could be total bull crap. What do you think of this one? Dark Souls 3, I mean, it makes sense, right? Bloodborne was never the end. They did their different... And it was totally and separate from yeah, the, the Souls side. series. Um, I won't be playing a Dark Souls game. I did not like Dark Souls They just crush my crazy. soul. Yeah, like, it's yeah. just not... It's, like it's way too difficult. <laughs> like, if you, if you play it that hard and you were somewhat successful, is that like, like, a, like a, I'm a real gamer because I can play hard things? Uh, a lot of people that just have play... A lot, yeah, a lot of people like, that play Dark Souls is, and do well are... are it does breed like kind of a men, uh, like an elitist mentality because it's hard as freaking crap. So and you know I what? Do it. If you can play Dark Souls, like I tip my hat to you. That is a tough game. I put several hours in and got nowhere with yeah. the first Dark Souls game and I was like, F this, I'm not touching it again. It's, not doing this. It's not I downloaded fun. it once. It's sitting on my Steam account now and just unplayed because I played it like for three hours. I'm like, I can't play. Yeah. Yeah. I spent literally like probably four to six hours never getting anywhere just dying not even make like half the time not even making it back to pick my crap up right, and so right. i was just like i'm literally going backwards in this game like <laughs> you can quantifiably say my that experience. i am making negative progress <laughs> yep, yep. in this freaking game <laughs> that's true. sad but true all right here's another rumor for the rumor mail you ready for this one i don't think you can see that over there but essentially they say that perhaps maybe this is uh proof that there is a one terabyte hard drive coming. A new P PS4 model on the way with a one terabyte hard drive. This was posted on a form at NeoGAF, right? Yep. Right. And with a link to... Said the FCC mm -hmm. just certified a computer entertainment system with a one terabyte like system, like a model number. So, yep. I, I don't know. What else Damn. could it be? I feel like one terabyte's kind of slow right now, though. Like, let's, uh, like a little, a little, a little behind. Old. 500 gigs is what mine has. Yeah, but... Yeah. I know, I got five it's games. I already have 300 gigs taken up on yeah, it. You know? There's 60 gigs. Mine's already. maxed. Physical. I'm at the point where if I add anything, I have to delete something. I don't know why they couldn't just... Do, I mean, two terabytes is like another like millimeter to higher. It's yeah. The much. great thing, though, is... I mean, <laughs> the like PlayStation 4 is designed to be able to in interchange and, and put true. new externals in. No, oh, put new put new or ones put in, new right? hard drives not, in. Right, yeah, not so you can. But new hard drives. I think I think you can do an external too, but I the external is only for backup. Right. Okay. Yeah, you're correct. Because you can put it. But, in and be like, but it was designed to be able safe. to replace your hard drive. So if you wanted to go in and and put your own two or three terabyte in, um, you can do that. 
it you've always been able to do that but now it's a little bit more it's a little easier okay to do it's just a little bit easier now with the playstation 3 is a little more difficult but you really need it i mean especially with these games and the downloads they're going digital mm. with a lot more things and they're right. getting bigger and bigger so that yes yes necessary i just like you know the first I mean? comment that says that uh, we need to go slimmer 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I would love to see like a dual boot on a PS4 where I could just put in two hard drives or partition the drives so that I could load PS3 games and oh, PS4 games. Like I could sweet. be able to on the same so machine, nice. be able to just play both games. Because right now I'm like flipping cables. That's what out. I'm doing. All right, kids, you want to play Nino? Here we go. You want to play something else? But that's you could cool. buy an HDMI splitter. Don't don't make this any harder than it is. All right, <laughs> you're right. Just keep switching those around. <laughs> I also want to, yeah. New I have one. Yeah, that I don't. Exactly. You want to make sure your kids know that it's, uh, it's it takes pain. work. It's hard, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I want them to learn. All right, news number four today: <laughs> PlayStation digital refund policy is spotlight of BBC's Watchdog, and that was a show that uh, you know, kind of like a consumer, what do you call it, like consumer reports or sort sort of. Sounds so, like a terrible video game. I saw <laughs> the Watchdog was, was in the title, and I didn't want to read it. Well, I, I read through it, and they basically had a post that said, hey, look, Watchdog did this show, and they ran down and talked to a bunch of different people who uh, were complaining because Sony has this refund policy that if somebody purchased games fraudulently on your account, uh, you could argue it, and many of these people that they had to highlight on the show did not get their refunds, but they got their account, accounts blocked. So one of the guys, and it said, it said that this was... a uh, um, Something you know, other people had the same problem, right? But he basically had made some charges. Uh, somebody made some charges on his right, account. Right, they were fraudulent, fraudulent charges charges. onto his account. Sony wouldn't refund him, so he went to the bank. The bank refunded him, and then started and canceled to, the payments. Right, and just started to charge or you know go back into Sony and say, hey, these we called these fraud. Please, you know, give him back his account. And they they totally blocked the account. And so after this show aired, there was a little bit of a. A move forward they basically said thanks for bringing these cases to our attention we're going to go back and look at our review um, process to see how we can better you know, get, you know get this to be right so they did kind of take a step forward and be like we want to make these people right thanks for showing us all of this so it was right. almost like a watch a, a whistleblower of sorts that was said, please don't hack us again we'll change <laughs> it we'll fix it <laughs> so i i mean i primarily they, still gonna hold accounts though like right still gonna like put your account on hold if you tell them there's some charges yeah it's it's interesting like i i primarily am buying digital games this this generation mm -hmm. um just because i'm honestly i just don't want to go to gamestop and have them ask me if that's all i want is that right that's, like that's wrong. i feel like ron swanson in a lumber store when he's like he's walking around and someone's like can i help you find anything and he just interrupts and he's like i know more than you and he keeps walking <laughs> have you guys seen that episode of Parks yeah, and Rec? So funny. he's like i know more than you do and he just keeps walking keeps and going. gets what he needs nice. um Nice. And so every like, and that's that's an a hole thing to think. I think maybe, but uh, I go there and I just I don't like them asking like, what can we help you find? I'm like, I've done. I know why I'm here. Like, I don't want you to talk to me about other games. Like, I'm here for this specific thing. Do you, I mean, do you guys experience that? Do you ever go to GameStop without knowing what you're there to buy? I think anywhere no, in retail I though, think I get they that usually problem. leave me alone though till I go up and buy stuff. They think I'm waiting for my parents, so they never talk to me. <laughs> You're not the one with the money. <laughs> you don't have. That's not. That's I actually haven't been there for months and months. When I drug Peach in there on our on our little anniversary <laughs> trip. Oh really? We went and had a nice dinner, and then I, she went to go get a cupcake, and I was like, okay, if you get a little cupcake, I'm stuffed full, so I'm gonna go to GameStop. So we both went through arm and arm, and I asked them all kinds of hard questions, and they were nice. like, yeah, I didn't they don't get know anything. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't know. So, anyway, back to back to the, this, uh, you know, digital refund policy. I. <laughs> Uh, it, it's annoying to me that like if if I've pre-ordered something specifically if I've pre-ordered it and then it gets bad reviews before I've downloaded it and played it that I can't return that pre-order I think that's bull crap mm. um, that that doesn't exist anywhere else you know that you buy something you don't use it you don't touch it in fact it's not even a tangible thing but that and you can't cancel it and you can't cancel yeah, it nothing's been touched but you can't cancel it that's bull crap mm. um, but the pros of digital for me outweigh that. Where it becomes really frustrating though is that fraudulent charge thing, like where Sony's already been hacked and they knew that accounts had been compromised. Right. There should definitely be um, the process should include a process. Sort of, yeah. yeah, absolutely. A process that says, hey, if someone's getting fraudulent charges to their account, like they froze this kid's account because they, I, at least from the way that I read it, he came across as like saying, I'm not going to pay you for this product. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the kind of idea that I got from it until, you know, this update. 
but that initially he said, hey, this was fraudulent. I don't want to pay this. I need you to cancel it. They didn't cancel it. So he goes to the bank. They cut off the funds, and Sony's like, are you freaking kidding me? You're not going to pay us for these? We're going to lock your account. Right. I didn't, so I didn't consider them locking his account like a security measure. I considered them locking oh, his account as stuff. like, yeah, as a bully thing. And so you're have your um, bank step in and fine. Yeah, you're if that's if Maybe. that's the case, that that has got to be changed because we live in a world where like fraudulent charges are a reality, right? Yes. And so Sony needs to be standing up like they have done incredibly well this generation at coming across as the good guys. It's true. This it's is true. a big thing to come across as the bad guy on. And so that's why they were really quick to respond to the to, to the show, to the Watchdog show, and say thanks for bringing this to our attention. We want to make sure that these these people, you know, we have they we, they kind of go through it. There's a little response here on the article. We we set high standards. We'll have it in the show notes. You can read it. But they basically say safety and security of our customers is number one. We'll make this right, and we'll we'll go through our process and see if we can't do a better job at, at being more, I guess, helpful. Right. So that's good. That is good news. Cool. And right. that, my friends. Is the news. However, Laserbox did mention that uh, GameStop is buying Think Geek. Think Shouldn't it be the other way around? Think Geek. I can't talk. Game I love that's Think Geek talking. so much, and GameStop is buying I'm Think afraid Geek. for it. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's just. Ow. Oh, oh, that's a whole. Like that's when sad. Dell bought Alienware. Yep, yep, these are bad things. So. Bad things. Sad. Yeah. Well, we'll take a moment to say. <laughs> oh, okay. No more tongue. I know, wasn't it? I thought bags. GameStop was going into bankruptcy, so uh, I thought. Not they're, bankruptcy, but I thought they were like, like on their way out. Like yeah, I mean, style, yeah right? they've got to be. They have to be. So where does this money come Physical from? media is disappearing. That's hey, I, don't I, don't think geek. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. it's going to be bad. Yeah, he said Amazon when they bought Whoop. Same yeah. thing. Big change. True. <sighs> the little guys never live. It's always the big guys keeping us down. Keeping us down. Taking yeah. our jobs. <laughs> Let's have a piece of good news. <laughs> anyway, that's the news. That's the news. Ready? I'll sing it. <gasps> That's how they That's do it how at I a Sev versus Evan show. Da 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 Their little duck faces. Yep. <laughs> All right. So for the PlayStation 4, we have Arcade Archives. Ar- Ar- I can't. No. Mm-mm, can't uh, read today. Arcade, Arcade Archives <sighs> Renegade for $7.99. Skulls of Shogun for $9.99. Super Exploding Zoo. Whew. Everything just got bigger. Uh, for ten ninety nine, <laughs> Sparkle, <laughs> Sparkle, we about that for a while. <laughs> Sparkle Unleashed for seven ninety nine, and the Escapist for nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, escapist? Super Exploding Zoo was the phallic animals, right? Yeah, that's yeah. The one with the phallic yeah. faces. Yeah. Aliens yeah. and now stuff. Now the Escapist, I'm pretty sure. If I use words like that, do you think kids will know what I'm saying and be offended? Like, I feel like that's safer. That's a safe one. That's yeah. a safe one. Yeah, that's yeah. safe. Cool. For PlayStation Three, we have Class of Heroes Two G for forty four ninety nine, and also Sparkle Unleashed. Sparkle Unleashed will be a three way. Cross by for seven ninety nine. Uh, PlayStation Vita games. We have Sparkle Unleashed again because it's a three way cross by. Super Exploding Zoo because that one's also a cross by with PS four and then Tetris <gasps> Ultimate Tetris. Tetris. for fourteen ninety nine. There are very few things that I'm confident at, but Tetris is one. Really? It is the Man, one. And I fall apart. I'm like it's origami, dude. I I fold like <laughs> I fold like I get mad paper. if I don't make it to 121 rows. You know? <laughs> I used to in high school my. And this is strange because it was so out of the norm. But my mother, who was like a grade school teacher, would play Tetris. You know, on like we'd find her on our game system. We'd be like, "Mom, what are you doing? She should be playing Tetris." And she'd get 400 lines like all the time. Dang. Wow! And I'd be like, "My mom is the sh- she's so good at grocery <laughs> shopping. So awesome. So, <laughs> so awesome! I would I would play Tetris Ultimate. I feel like I if I you're a good too. Tetris player, you should be a good like fighting game player. Is that? Do you no? think that's accurate? I mean, no, I think fighting you games have to have crack. like such However, quick it's... reflexes and like. That's true. Uh, it's also know, spatial awareness. Really awareness. Like, I am. Yeah. I am great. I'll tell you. I am great when it comes to moving somebody out of the neighborhood. You give me a van. I can't. I can't carry big things. I've got double hernia surgery, right? Yeah. I might. No, I'm not going to carry stuff. But you put me in the van. I will stack that thing so tight. I have yeah. been to many a places where they've been like, "You're the master," and I'll be like, Thanks, "You should Mom. be a professional. <laughs> you should be a professional." Was, I have to say, Tetris stacker. has helped me in my job too. Stacking, putting stuff in? bags in overhead bins and fitting them in like certain <laughs> spots. You know, Be these contents. I know. I can see that that bag's not gonna fit. Don't put it there. <laughs> I guess but do try. It. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. And that's the releases. Yeah. yeah. That's what's out. That's what's out. That's what's out. That's, that's what's, what's up. up. Cool. Then uh, every week, 
Every, Not every, every, week. every other week. Every other week. We get into an indie game of the week, and we brought this up last week as my friend's grandmother used to kick my ass at Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Mario. Dude, I hated Dr. Mario. No, so annoying. It was a that. nightmare. <laughs> but it feel it seemed like, right? Like, it seemed like old women were great at Dr. Mario. <laughs> like, around the same time that I was playing Golden Axe yep. on the Sega Genesis, yep. my friend who owned the Sega Genesis, his mom would be just Dr. Mario in it up. Yep, doing fine. And, and we'd be like, come on, man, we want to watch want to play golden hex have the bikini <laughs> warrior like mage chick with the, the dragons and uh yeah she'd she'd like oh. shuffle us out of the way stood her ass down and just dr mario it up i hate that freaking game <laughs> anyway the game that we brought up last week that i didn't really love and we'll kind of get into it a little bit today Coming is yeah. the road not taken I didn't love it's it. The Some people. Indie game, the indie game, oh. the indie game of the week. I interrupted again. Ah. I'm sorry. I, you just went too fast. I need to interrupting Jeff. Thanks. Interrupting Ginger. <laughs> Our indie game this week is Road Not Taken. We mentioned it a little bit last week as we talked about how kind of mostly I didn't like it. Yeah. Yeah. But um, this is a game that was published and developed by Spry Fox, um, and it came out with a Metacritic score of 70 out of 100, which, as far as our indie game of the week pieces go yeah it's pretty low it's on the low end right? right most of the things that we've done reviews for so far kind of breakdowns for the indie game of the week have been high 80s low 90s um right and so i felt i mean I, this game felt to me like a like a lower end i mean not visually visually it looked it good fun. but it was just a lower end game so the story the breakdown what this game is road not taken is a roguelike puzzle game about surviving the surprises in life you assume the role of a ranger adventuring through a vast, unforgiving forest in the aftermath of a brutal winter storm, rescuing children who have lost their way. Randomly generated levels deliver a, lim a limitless supply of possibilities to explore and challenges to overcome. Your actions influence not only your own story, but the stories of the vi vi villagers you hope to befriend and the town you call home. So, as I mentioned, I wasn't a huge fan of this. I'm not a puzzle gamer. I'm not I'm not in love with puzzle games. So, this was not my cup of tea. But Drew, I, I think out of everyone here, you I liked, liked it the most, most, I think. I think I liked it the most. I think what I enjoyed about it was that it, it was a, a thinker. You had to do a little bit of puzzling. But uh, it felt a little constrained. There's still this like, growth, right? So you, every year you kind of move on and you save more kids. And then you go back to the town and you interact with the town people. And then you move on and you save more kids. And I did about three years. I only played for a couple of hours. Uh, I enjoyed it. I thought I thought I'd probably put some more time into it, but uh, it was probably just because I liked the challenge. It was kind of like, oh, okay, right. how do I figure this one out? The randomly generated made things a little bit difficult because it was just like, yes, I know this is harder, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be learning. Right? right. With most levels, it's like, okay, this is the new this is the new thing I've got to master. But and in the ways that that worked for Rogue Legacy, I didn't feel like it worked yeah, here. Same. Agreed. Agreed. So for me, uh, I probably would give it the highest score of the team, but I'm going to say it was probably in the 75, 77 range because I'd, I'd go back to it for a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little pricey for me. So uh, no. yeah, this 15 is like a, bucks is a lot of money. It's like a 3.99 game for me. Right. But Rachel. Uh, did was not too much of a fan. It reminded me of like those little three by three little missing pieces games. The slider, the slider yeah, puzzle. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's yeah. Pull, pull um, the ring out. Mm -hmm. And then you cheat, and then you take all the things out, as I believe Glenn does. I so, do. I cheat in those things. <laughs> you do it. So yeah. Uh, um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too much of a fan. Every time you walk, it would hurt your health, so you can't just grab something and put it where you want it. And then you had to befriend the villagers, which was just another thing that I was not really interested I'm not in a doing. fan of befriending villagers either. Right. I did not want to give them my blueberries. Near my right, it, just didn't, it just wasn't as interesting <laughs> as it... These are my that's blueberries. What, that's what this came as it down probably to. should have and could have been. You didn't right? want to right. give them your blueberries. I know. I think maybe they could have... I don't know. but uh, They're cheap now. Jeff, Jeff mentions the art style. So, yeah. I did like the art style. That pretty. was pretty cute. It's pretty. Yeah. I do. I, I I really like the art style. I like the uh, I like the music. Um, not when it's playing during our stream, but I do like... It. I do like the music. Um, it... It comes across initially as a very charming game, and to me, and the gameplay and everything else, like it lost its charm very quickly. Right, I had high hopes. Yeah, so did I. So for me, I think my score probably jumps between 50 and low 60s. I think that's about where mine is as well. And you said s S mid 70s? Mid 70s, yeah, it was okay. better than Echo Chrome. Okay, 
I like the go. color a lot better. better than <laughs> Absolutely. The color was, a, at the very least, the color was a little bit better. Cool. Well, this, uh, I think, then we'll wrap up our Indie Game of the Week. We're going to cut it a little bit short because we already recorded this once, and it's honestly very difficult to uh, recreate. The the I mean, moment. on the fly to just talk about Do you guys ever feel that way? Like, the first cut, if you're just winging it, it's pretty easy, but then to go back and try to recreate the winging never try, part. Never try to Retracing your footsteps. You just Absolutely. do it. You just do it. You can't recreate it. When well, I then, ladies and people. gentlemen, this has been episode 15. 56 of the Little Big Cast, the official PlayStation podcast of ktdata.net. As always, we'd love for you to connect with us through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, and most importantly Instagram? right now, if you're interested, Patreon. Please, we'd yes. love to throw some cash our way. Yes. Not because... Uh, we're not living well, off of it. We're not no. living off of it, but we are using borrowed equipment. So being able to upgrade to some better equipment uh, would be awesome, and you guys get pretty cool perks out of it. So it's true. Uh, the faux show... There are a number of different things um, Come play that, with us. that you can do for Choose us a topic and we for can us. do for you, yep. and it'll be fun. Yep. Um, as far as what uh, bu- 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 our own kind of connections go, my name is Jeff Hawks. You can find me at Jeff Hawks on Twitter or at Mr. Hawks on the PSN. And with me today, as always, Mr. Drew Tyler. You can find me at Night20 on just about everything, Twitch, Twitter, and all. And Rachel? Uh, Pirate Rachel with a three instead of an E on the Twitter. And then PSN is 70 underscore X7. Very cool. And I want to make sure that we give a big shout out, first of all, to our buddy Glenn. Thank Thank you for coming and joining us today. Subbing in for Rachel, or Robin, Rachel. For our our power. (laughs) one of the R's. Uh, (laughs) That's cool. Thank you for joining us. Do you have uh, ways that people can connect? Yeah, to I'm at I'm at G Wiggum on Twitter or Wigs9703 on PSN and Xbox Live. Very okay. cool. And before we go, one last thing, we got to give shout outs. Breakdance fight. Thank you for joining me in the raid earlier this yeah, week. Yeah, that, that was, was awesome. That was way fun. Ski or die. Ski dog Sam uh, X. As always, methane cuddles. Huge shout out to methane cuddles. Thank you for the support, dude. Yeah. Um, Rachel. On the female's end, it's going to be Spencer0984. 0824. 0824. And then I believe Gene Kos. Gene Kos. His first name is David. Gene Kos. Gene Kos. His name is Gene Kos. Gene Kos. And our live studio audience. <laughs> yeah, Laffy everybody Taffy's that's here. Sweet. Laffy Taffy's here. Little ones it's and true. Rachel's. Boyfriend. And little ones and the boyfriends. Yes. This is a good, live, a good live audience. Absolutely. So thank you for joining us, and we'll catch you next time, guys. Thank you. Adios. Thanks. Thanks.